hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add motion blur let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in CapCut, i want you to click the sign up option from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding motion blur to your clips in CapCut PC is a straightforward process because the platform provides various tools to enhance your videos, including motion blur for smoother transitions and dynamic effects. Once you open the CapCut, I want you to click the create a new project if you want to start from scratch, but if you have already an existing project in place, just click on it to begin editing. Now, to begin work, I need you to add the clips or the media in the timeline that i want to add a motion blur in my case i'm going to be adding this specific video right here which is going to be going to library i'm going to search for motor wanted to add a motion blur from this video for example this i'm going to drag it to our timeline i'm going to scrub this so we can see it right here So I'm going to hover down to the very beginning. I'm just going to place the elements here perfectly blend together so that they can create a cohesive effect. So the video is right here. Right. So for you to be able to add motion blur, it's kind of really easy. All I have to do is go to the video, click the video. Go to the basic tab. There are like four tabs. Basic, remove BG, mask and retouch. And I need you to hover down below where you can see the motion blur. All right. So if you click the drop down menu, you will notice that you have all these options. All right. So you can increase the motion blur. You see that? To 100% or depending on your preferences. So if we click the, just place, uh, click the playhead and making sure it's in the very beginning let's see what we got from here it takes a little while and if you want to add motion blur to a specific for the whole video all right you can try to scrub the play around here you see that and you need to increase the blend all right so the direction is if you want to create both forward or backward so it's up to you so let's try to see that And then, for example, we're going to click the uh, speed and twice, right? So let's try to see if we got that covered. Play, play it again from the very beginning. Right now, it's processing, right? So um, it takes a little while depending on the speed of your computer, if it can handle the rendering very smoothly and very quickly. But of course, after that, it's um, finished. It would show you the effect of the motion blur. So we're going to click the playhead from the very beginning. If we see if we have successfully created a motion blur for our video, which is we have done it successfully. You see that motion blur gives a uh, dynamic effect to your clip, right? I like it. So once you're happy with the motion blur, obviously, what you need to do from here, you see that it added a motion blur. Click the export button to save it or share your video from your client or if you're working in a collaborative environment, share it to your team members. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.